This is Janine refugee camp, a place with a strong Palestinian militant presence in the occupied West Bank. Clashing with the Israeli army, who say they are rooting out terrorism. The Palestinian Ministry of Health say several people were killed. The day before, we went to what locals call the Graveyard of Martyrs. Home to many who died trying to end Israeli occupation. It's where we meet a Hamas fighter. It was Hamas members from Gaza who carried out the barbaric massacre of October the 7th. In Janine, Hamas are fighting what they see as Israeli oppression. This is our country, our home, this is our land. Like, if, if you read the history, they've been here 70, 80 years. It's not, they have nothing to do in this country. Do you feel like there's a war here? Yes, it is. It's, it's been since two years ago. What's your ultimate aim? Hurry, freedom. Kick them out of this country. He shows us the Al Ansar Mosque. The last week, they destroyed the other side with a rocket and a drone. So as you see here, here, you can see the first rocket. It was recently targeted by an airstrike. The IDF said members of Hamas were running a terror route underneath it and were planning an imminent terror attack. This is where the militants were operating in the mosque. It was their command center and they dug a tunnel so that people could escape out of the area. It is a window into a newly emboldened resistance movement. Many here see the militants as heroes, not terrorists killing civilians, defending an oppressed and isolated population. We meet a mother of one fighter killed in a gun battle in March. How did you feel about him being a member of Hamas? I'm proud of my son. I love Hamas. For years, I have loved the group. Hamas represents us. They are fighting to liberate our country and our stolen lands. We don't believe in killing children, women, or old men. But militants did exactly that on October the 7th, carrying out a brutal attack. Truth and trust, though, is getting buried in this conflict. And people here feel alienated, marginalised, deprived. What's happening in Gaza has only intensified their desire to fight. Cordelia Lynch, Sky News, Janine, in the West Bank.